Hello everyone, my name is Leticia Farrelli and I am presenting our work titled Identification of a Conserved Acloviral Microarray Coded by Spoptera frugiferda Multiple Nucleo Polyhydrovirus. This work was done in the Instituto de Biotecnología y Biología Molecular La Plata, Argentina and is part of the PhD project of Santiago Gómez Berna. In the lab, we are interested in the study of a virus that belongs to the Bacloviridae family genus Alpha Bacloviridae and its short name is SFMMPV. This virus is capable to infect and kill the fall armyworm, which is an important pest for corn and other crops. In particular, we are studying an Argentinian isolate of the SFMMPV as a candidate for the biocontrol of this pest. As part of the characterization of this virus, we are interested in the study of microRNAs and how they can influence the outcome of the viral infection. MicroRNAs are small RNA molecules of around 22 nucleotides that regulate the ex gene expression in a sequence-specific manner. The mature microRNA is produced after several cleavages of the primary and precursor microRNAs and then hybridizes with its target messenger RNA and block translation. It is important to note that there are seven nucleotides in the sequence between the nucleotides 2 and 8 of the mature microRNA which is called the seed sequence and has a very really important role in target recognition. There are still few reports of microRNAs coded by bacloviruses and in SFMMPV there are no studies on microRNAs yet. Here it is shown a reported microRNA coded by BMMPV, which is another bacillovirus that infects Bombyx mori. And this microRNA named BMMPV mir 2 is coded in the complementary strand of the kitinase gene, which is a conserved gene in several bacteroviruses and insects. So considering the conservation of the kitinase gene and the lack of information regarding microRNAs in SFMMPV, we set out to search for a BMMPV mir 2 ortholog in SFMMPV. To do this, we first perform the local alignment between the mature BMMPV MIR2 and the complement strand of SFMMPV kitinase gene. And as a result, we found a very similar sequence, 81% identical, and with 71% identity in its seed sequence. It was also found in a similar location within the kitinase gene compared to BMMPV. The next step was to identify a putative precursor for this microRNA. So first we submitted the complementary strand of the kitinase gene to Mirna Fold to predict stem loop secondary structures, and we kept those that contain our mature microRNA sequence. Furthermore, the hairpin structures were verified with M Fold. As a result, we got a sequence with a hairpin like secondary structure and a favorable minimum free energy. So, having found the putative homologue of BMMPV MIR2 in the SFMMPV, we wanted to know if this microRNA was further conserved in other species by means of nucleotide blast. We found significant hits in several bacilloviruses, including a bacillovirus species that belongs to the beta bacillovirus uh, genus, indicated here in green. Interestingly, we also detected hits of non-viral origin. And lastly, we set out to predict putative viral targets of this microRNA using Miranda. And we could predict 34 possible target genes, including the obvious kitinase. Interestingly, the predicted genes are mostly expressed in late stages of infection. In conclusion, we predicted a novel microRNA in SFMPV, which is orthologue to a previously reported microRNA of BMMPV and, and that has a pot potentially is potentially capable to regulate the expression of 34 viral genes. Thank you for your attention.